So today I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to solve a problem that I've seen many beginners encounter when creating simple AI. Previously, I've shown how to create a basic AI that can follow a player and move towards a target. But when you have multiple AI moving towards the same target, an issue that occurs is that they can collide and clip inside of each other and the target game object. To solve the problem, we will be writing two straightforward scripts. One, to move the AI towards a goal and stopping before colliding, and two, to make our AI seem somewhat intelligent and avoid actively colliding with each other. So with that said, let's get right into it. As usual, start off by creating your Unity project. And once you're in Unity, we need to quickly set up our scene. Using cubes only, create some ground, create a goal object and create our AI cube. You can create materials to differentiate between each. You can also download this beginning setup by following the link in the description or download the entire project to look at first. Don't forget to save your scene too. Moving on, we now want to move the AI towards its goal. Right click in the assets folder and create a C sharp script called move to goal. Attach it to the AI game object and open the script to edit. First thing to add into the script is our public transform goal. We will use this to move our AI and to do that, we need to go to our update method. Add a vector3 called direction and set this to our goal.position minus our current position. We can use this to find what direction the AI has to move to reach the goal. We then use this direction by adding transform.translate direction times time.delta time. We added time.delta time to ensure the movement is smooth and not instant. Save that script and head back to Unity. Click on the AI game object and you'll see we have a space for our goal transform. Drag the goal game object into this position. Then click play and watch the AI move towards the goal. However, it is now clipping into the goal. To fix this, we need to go back to our script. This is solved by a simple if statement. Add a public float space between and set it to 1.5. Then in our update, add if vector 3.distance goal.position, transform.position is greater than or equal to space between. Make sure to put the bracket around the original code. This is essentially checking our distance to the goal and once we come in range we will stop. That range is set to 1.5 right now. Save the script and go back to Unity and hit play. Now the AI is stopping before the goal. So, so far we have created our AI and given it a goal to move towards. It checks how close it is to this goal and finally stops when it comes within range. But what happens if we have multiple AI and they are all moving towards the goal at once? Let's take a look. In the scene view, create multiple copies of the AI game object and space them out a little. Run the game and you will see that they will all choose the optimal path towards the goal and as a result end up on top of each other. Not to worry though because we can create a simple script to correct this too. Like before, right click in the assets folder and create a script called AI separation. Using shift, select all of the AI game objects and attach the AI separation script. Then open the script to edit. First thing you need is an array of game objects called AI. And then, like the other script, a public float named space between also set to 1.5. To fill up our AI array, in the start method add AI equals game object dot find game objects with tag AI. This will search our scene for all objects tagged as AI and add them in. Next, we go to the update method. We want to check every AI game object, so we need to add for each game object go in AI, and this goes through all the game objects in the AI array. Then we need to check if this game object is the current game object by adding if go does not equal game object. We do this because next we want to check the distance between each AI object, and we cannot check the distance with itself as this will always be zero and that would cause problems to occur. To calculate the distance, it is similar to the previous script. Float distance equals vector3.distance go.transform.position 
comma, this.transformed opposition. Then check if distance is less than or equal to space between. And if it is, you'll need to calculate the direction to move. This looks similar to the previous script too. However, this time we have our current position minus our goal position. Before it was the opposite. We wanted to move towards the goal in the first script. This time we need to move away from our other AI objects. Finally, we add transform.translate direction times time dot delta time. Then save your script and return to Unity. First thing to do is create a tag called AI. Then use shift or control to highlight all the AI objects and change the tags to AI. Play the game and watch as the objects stay apart. You can move them around and see how they react or move the goal around the scene and watch as the AI follows but stays apart from each other. This can be useful in a game where you have hordes of enemies or crowds. I've even used a similar script in this top down geometry bar style shooter. I just keep updating the AI array with any new AI that spawns into the scene. And with that we've come to an end of another tutorial. Hopefully you can use this to make your AI appear that little bit smarter in your games. If this helped you your game, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, then let me know how it has helped you in the comments and what you're currently working on. Or if you didn't like the video, let me know why and what I can do to make it better, or if you have a better way of solving this problem. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Oh,